it's a little dark, but you know, Libra, I just can't handle the light right now, okay? I took each one of the light fixtures in this apartment came with a full set of lights. Like the one in my living, the one in my dining room had like seven or eight light bulbs. And the one in my bathroom had four huge or six huge bulbs. So like I took all the bulbs out basically on my sister. <laughs> and I only put like one or two bulbs and everything. And this was like six months ago. And uh, she was like, she had a problem adjusting. Like she was like, Whitney, it's fucking dark. And I'm like, honestly, I'm like, my eyes are so sensitive. I just have to adjust. Like once I adjust, I'll, you know, and I was like, dude, I'm like, if you need more light, just add a light bulb. You know, if you go to the bathroom, you need more light, add a light bulb. And she was like, okay. And then she never added any light bulbs. And now she goes into the bathroom and she tells me it's too bright. So now I've adjusted her eyes so much. I swear to God, we're going to be in the dark in no time. <laughs> Green eyes. Like I have like see-through eyes like I don't oh my gosh the sun kills my eyes I was listening to this Joey Oz song right before I started and uh it's called on my way and it kind of has to do with your theme because your theme today is werewolf transitioning like Libra wants to change or yeah, Libra wants to change. That's how I feel. I'm going to use my old Spencer deck. That's how I feel. Libra wants to change something and good for you. You know, Libras, Libras are really hard. Like Libras, I can see it being really hard for them to change. Like Libras, I mean, say it one more time. I don't know. I feel like they just, they have a rough time. Just being justice, like, oof. Let's see. Mmm. Ooh, page of wands. Necronancer. <clears throat> Take a walk with me here, Libra. I just heard <laughs> Ace of Wands. That bitch has been coming up a lot, actually. There's some serious activation going on out there by very magical people. You're obviously a part of it. Ooh, okay. We got the Knight of Cups. The Genie. Queen of Swords. Amazon. Man, this group of Amazon women came into somewhere I worked once. They were like six foot three or four. Oh my god i've never seen women that big before in my life like clearly it ran in the family look at another giant cannibal we're gonna keep going here page of pentacles okay so now the page of pentacles is lining up with the page of wands ace of wands is gonna line up with the five of pentacles Summoning something. That's the shaman. Three of cups. We got the witch with the knight of cups. Okay, so now I feel like this could be two people. But let's not... Changing. No, I, I mean a relationship could be changing. That, that could be it. Now we got the king of cups with the queen of swords. And Cannibal, we've got the tower with the gargoyle. What's next? Ooh, the sun. Phoenix on the top. And on the bottom, we've got the ghost with the two of swords. I'm also going to take Pegasus underneath, okay, with the eight of pentacles. And I'm going to take Leviathan because that's the ten of cups. Voodoo. Oh, my God. There's the six of cups. There's the yeti okay okay so we've got we do have another person on board okay we do have another person on deck all right and they're in this pile okay we're going to talk about them in a minute right now we're going to get into the overall energy okay even this i feel like that's kind of the outcome okay 
So the sun is rising. Like there is a reactivation because of the phoenix. Like this is rising from the ashes into something else. Okay. So with the page of wands and the page of pentacles, those are two ideas brewing. Okay. So this is like Necronancers raising something from the dead. The Baron Samodi is the one that comes and takes the souls. Okay. So it's like, um, both soul taking here. I feel like you are changing souls. I do. I feel like you're changing souls. Like, I feel like you, what you were given, you morphed out of. And it was old news to you. And it was an old used up soul. And you were like, I need something better than this. I deserve something better than this. And I can hear you raised the dead. Like, so you raised another soul. Oh my God, you did. That's so creepy and awesome. Um, that's what this Ace of Wands is. Something made out of fire. Holy fuck, you did. Because a salamander, okay, is something... I've looked them up, okay? It's something that is... is The myth of it is created through fire. So they become fire retardant. Like, they... Fire can't touch them. They are made of fire. If fire is around them, it's just going to attract more things, okay? So, um... This is like... With the shaman, it's like... You have summoned something so much better for yourself. This shaman... I do see there could be, there, there might be right now, um, some downfall with money because of this transition. Okay. And it, it might've slowed, they slowed work down. Okay. I don't know why I said Sloan. I don't know if maybe you're in Canada. I love those guys. They have like 20 albums now. Those guys have been crushing it since like fucking nineties or like late eighties. Like, Love those guys. Okay, so I swear those guys are old souls too. Like they were dressing like they were in the 70s and the 90s. Like those guys have never lost their touch. This is like, this is, I don't know why Sloan, what has to do with this reading, but with the Knight of Cups, the Genie, Three of Cups, the Witch, those are, oh my God, what the fuck? Okay, so now look at this. Both of those characters are summoning smoke. Like the genie comes out of smoke and the witch is like brewing something that is casting a smoke shadow. So both of these energies are magical. Okay, so I almost feel like you become a genie in a bottle. Like I feel like you start to be able to manifest anything you want because of this new soul. Okay, and it's like magic beyond magic. And that's why the two, the feminine and the masculine step forward inside of you now because your feminine side, which could have been overreactive, oversensitive, okay, now becomes very strong. Okay, you might have wished for your strength in your feminine side to come back. That truth, that's just going to hit you. Like, you you know, you never want to deal with mom, right? When like, when the fucking family's breaking down and then mom goes, let's all go talk. You're like, fuck, fucking why does mom have to get involved? Because now we got to fix it, right? It's, it's like, that's the energy, okay? And then why we get the king of cups is because the orc comes in and destroys everything. So clearly somebody has manipulated and misshapen your heart. And now that you take this back, okay, you take yourself back. It's like you just want to crush people alive now, right? It's no longer feeling like, oh, look at how much they're struggling. Oh, look at this poor person. Now it's like, look at this fucking person. Look at this fucking person. I work my fucking ass off. Like this is where people need to be, you know, totally changing your, your heartstrings and your mentality, getting that mentality back. Okay, that's a huge like win-win for somebody on the inside. Okay, and then with the tower and the cannibal, it almost seems like you're now protected, right? Like the vastity of you, the hugeness that is going to be you, okay, is now protected because that's what a gargoyle does. A gargoyle goes on the side of a building to protect it so it doesn't come down. 
Okay, have you ever noticed those houses that have gargoyles on it? It's because they still believe in that old gargoyle charm, right? That that thou shall be all healed because what's fighting for you on the outside, right? So how this ends is this, you might scare people, okay? That's how I always take the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is amazing on how some people describe it in their decks. This one is you scare the shit out of people because this new you, this download that you get, that you notice that you're the one that's doing all the magic and that you're the one that's cultivating all of this and that you're the one that needed to step into they power because for some reason or another, your soul was slacking on a huge fucking, a huge part of your life. Okay. Then we get the 10 of cups with the eight of pentacles. Like, so, so basically taking back over your waters. Okay. That's the emotional side. And then you have Pegasus and what Pegasus does is Pegasus comes in and helps you with battle, right? So this could have been a battle and it still might be. And it's like, it's like now you've got the help so then you can step in front of somebody and you now intimidate them, right? That's the whole part of this is, is that's what I realized is if people have known that you've been bullied, right? Subconsciously, if they know that you're kind of a very weak soul, right? And you can be pushed around, they'll push you around. And it's, 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 it, you'd think at one point in time it would stop, but it doesn't stop until you stop it, Right? So that's where it's like, you know, when, when, when the victims strike back, you know, like every, every parent has to tell their child, if this bully continues and they hit you, you have to protect yourself. You have to either run, scream and get help. Eventually you have to face this person, right? It's either you completely ignore them and they go away, which happens, right? If they're not getting anything back from you, they'll just walk away. If they know it bothers you, they're going to continue to do it. And it's really funny because my stepmother was like one of the biggest bullies I've ever seen in my life. Like, like her bullying, I've now realized that I was, I was systematically programmed to deal with her bullying as a love mechanism. So then I didn't fucking kill her. So I didn't kill myself. Like I didn't even realize it until I started revealing a lot of stories about her that I was like, wow, she was a bully. She bullied us. Like if we didn't do what she said up until I was in my thirties, like if I didn't do what she said, she scoffed, she yelled, she fucking walked away. She went and told my dad some bullshit. My dad, my dad got so like my dad is dyslexic. He's stupid. And it's really fuck. It really sucks when you're dyslexic and people are yelling at you and you don't understand because honestly, anyways, I'm, I'm not even going to go down that road anymore. Fuck that. We don't need to talk about that. But anyways, trust me, if you have to get away from something and strengthen yourself back up again, because of the trauma that you've survived, I can see you amping up your soul once your time to reveal, right? Like, like this is what was under the deck. So we've got the brownie. Okay. Working at night, cleaning your shit up. Okay. That's really what it is with the three of wands is cleaning everything up and nobody has to see you do it. It can be super secretive, right? But it works. And then we've got the hair font. You teach yourself how to do things again. Okay. And that's why this is going to scare the shit out of people because you no longer are allowing anybody to bully you, which means tell you what to do, override you, tell you how to think, tell you how to feel, right? Make you the drama queen when really you're, you have every opportunity. It's in you to feel. Okay. And then the six of cups, it's like something comes back to you right? It's like you realize a lot of potential inside you. Like I said, and you realize that you are the genie here, that you're the one that's got the magic, that they've taken it from you, right? And you've hidden yourself. And that again is going to scare people when you submerge. Okay. Cause now we've got the King of Swords, the Viking taking back over your land. Now you've got to reclaim things. Okay. You have to reclaim things that have been taken. And that's all the King of, that's all the King of Swords does is he walks around his, he just takes land from people basically. Okay. That's all Viking does. But this is the truth. Anything that you're taking back is the fucking truth. This has been a battle 
for you to be able to do this, okay? And then the Ace of Pentacles, oh my gosh, with the Emperor. And that's that's creating and building a whole other place for you. This is this is a building from a seed, right? This is your euphoria now. This is this is building something that is now going to become a temple for you. Somewhere where you can go and you can find safety and you can seek your safety and people can come and feel safe when they're with you. You took back something because this is your mission. Libra, you accepted the challenge. And that's fucking awesome. Because you might even become some type of teacher. That's kind of how I feel. Like, the moves that you're making when no one's watching, you might become a teacher. Like, not all things... I, I once talked to this lady who was a hairdresser for years until the school approached her and she became a hairdresser or a teacher. And like, she didn't really like it, but she was like, I'm so sick of fucking doing hair that I just became a teacher for a bit. And then life shot her onto an island. It was fucking awesome how her life turned out. But like, you could just be changing total pass. Peace out, Libra.